The big box retailer filed several new trademarks late last month, indicated its intent to make and sell virtual goods. In a separate filing, the company said it would offer users a virtual currency as well as NFTs. This is insane. It's, it seems like people were like, the Bitcoin price was going to shoot up when Walmart bought Bitcoin. Then we found out they didn't buy Bitcoin. But they're getting into NFTs in the metaverse. What, what does that tell you? This is where people are interested. This is where the mainstream person is interested in crypto. They, the mainstream person that's not in crypto thinks that almost every crypto out there is a Ponzi scheme. Some people tell you NFTs are a Ponzi scheme. But now when we're talking about gaming and we're talking about, uh, you know, metaverse in a future world where people will be gaming inside of that, they can see the excitement in that. Um, Walmart appears to be venturing in metaverse with plans created on crypto. The big box retailer filed several new trademarks last month and that indicate its intent to make and sell virtual goods, including electronics, home decorations, toys, sporting goods, and personal care products. Separate filing, they said they will offer users a virtual currency as well as NFT. So here it is. You get the serial number right there. Uh, seven total applications have been submitted. Uh, they said it's continuing exploring how emerging technologies may shape future shopping experiences. Uh, imagine if you had like a, you go to Walmart to pick up your order. You know, you order online, you go there, uh, you pick it up, or your Instacart person goes there to pick it up. You know, I mean, eventually you won't be able to go in the store. They'll all be giant warehouses. All the Walmarts will be giant warehouses for drones to come get the items and take them to you. But that's, a, that's another story for another day. But like, instead of just, you know, showing them your ID or something, well, you just had something on your phone, you can show them like, hey, here's my, here's my receipt NFT. Only you have that. So it'll be very interesting because... When I'm looking and thinking about all this, I'm thinking about virtual shopping. I'm thinking about, like, look, Walmart is not, I don't think, coming into the gaming space, right? They're, they're gonna stick to what they're good at, which is all things retail. They're the greatest retail company in the history of America. Hate them or love them. So because of that, you would think it's gonna be something, the cutting edge of, of shopping, um, or digital goods, you know, in, in terms of how it would relate to something Walmart would do well. What, what do you think? Yeah, most likely. I mean, I think shopping is all going virtual, and I think all these, like you said, retailers, Gap was one we looked at last week. You know, these mainstay retailers for a long time, there's a reason they've stayed at the top of that. It's because they know how to adapt. So I imagine we don't know what it's going to look like right now, but the fact that these major players are messing with it means it's going to be the wave of the future for sure. Yeah, and they'll absolutely. they'll figure it out. I don't know. Like, I just kind of, I'm going to forecast into the future. I'm going to forecast like, I don't know, five, six years into the future. And I'm just judging this based on what I'm seeing right now. It almost feels like, and I said this early on, I feel like Metaverse is going to be bigger than crypto. Yeah. I feel like you're going to have way more people out there doing Metaverse content than crypto content. A lot of the crypto YouTubers you watch now, if they don't retire because they're in the Ladies Millionaires Club, they're going to be making Metaverse content. This is where the excitement is and the interest is. This is where the mainstream is coming. This is where the big box or, or where the, the biggest companies are looking at right now. Budweiser, Nike, Adidas. Think about this. Did you hear, did you hear Adidas talking about crypto? Did, did, did you hear uh, uh, Adidas talking about, um, you know, uh, the latest V-chain uh, su supply chain upgrade? No. So... Very interesting to see. I just think we're going to see a totally different world, uh, even just in the crypto space here in a few years. We're going to continue to talk crypto. We're also going to talk a lot of this too, mm -hmm. because this is what draws people in and gets people interested.